If you have ever wanted to bulk edit your Etsy photos, and by bulk edit, I don't just mean upload photos and delete photos, but actually edit the photos themselves, then this video is for you because today I'm going to show you a new tool that is going to help you do exactly that. This tool is called Iblista and it is basically created just to do that one job and that is to bulk edit your Etsy uh, photos and your Etsy videos as well and you can also edit your actual images themselves so let's get into this and I'm going to explain exactly how this works I'm going to show you exactly how it works and I'm going to talk about why you might find this beneficial before we get to that I need to say thank you to Evlista for sponsoring today's video Okay, so here we are in the Evlista dashboard and you can see that I have connected my Etsy shop here. Okay, so here we are in the dashboard. You can see that it has all of the types of listings, so active, draft, sold out, and also all of the sections. Now this is going to become really important as we go through this because you may want to edit things in sections and we'll talk about that shortly. But let's start with just selecting my active items because I don't need to edit all of my sold out items and drafts, although you could if you wanted to. So here we have all of my active items in my shop. Basically what you can do here is if you want to click this button, you're just going to select all of your active listings and then you can go in and edit all of them which is amazing so let's do that let's edit 189 listings and do the first thing which is we're going to add an image so you can see I've got all my products here it's got positions for your photos and this is important because there's a number of things you can do you can add you can delete you can replace you can edit the photos and then you can revert the photo edits a little bit later we're going to go through and i'm going to show you how this works and talk about why this is super useful but let's just start by adding an image okay so we've got this image of my packaging a simple image of my packaging and you can see that it is just added it on to the last slot in each of my listings now this works because i have i haven't filled up all 10 slots. There are a couple of listings when I was testing for this video that I actually had filled up all the slots and what will happen is this picture just won't be added because you've already filled up all 10 slots. That's when the replace feature might come in handy. You might need to select those ones and replace an image but if you're just adding because you've got space then this is super easy. So all I'm doing is adding this picture to the end of all of my listings and that means that I'm adding just like that that one picture of my uh, jewelry packaging to every single listing in my shop. So all I have to do is apply changes and it will apply the changes and push it through to my Etsy shop. It takes a little bit of time to do this depending on how many listings you have, but you can just leave this in the window doing its thing and go do something else and then come back when it's all updated. All right, so we have our update complete. So if we now come over to my Etsy shop and I pick any random listing and we can see that it has added that packaging photo to every single listing, which if I tried to do that manually would probably literally take me hours because as you can see, I have 189 listings. <laughs> so I did not relish the thought of going and adding a photo to every single one of those. So this has saved me heaps of time being able to do that. All right. So I've again selected my active listings. Say I want to get rid of that picture. I can do the same thing. I can come in here and I can add delete and then I can delete from forward positioning or I can delete backwards. So I can delete my last picture and then again, I just apply the changes and it's going to delete every single one of those images that I've just added. So you can also do this just in sections. Like say I want to go in to my earrings and I want to add another packaging photo just to my earrings. So I can go in here and then I can filter by active status by clicking here and going, I only want to select my active items, apply. We're going to edit 20 listings and we're going to go and we're going to add now see here, this one has all 10 spots. So what's going to happen is it's just not going to add another photo because it can't, because there's not space for it. So this is where you might have to like go, okay, I want to, you know, delete a photo or come back and edit that later. That's something to just be aware of if you have taken up all of your slots. But again, I can add an image 
this one here packaging photo with like showing what the actual earrings look like in the packaging and then I could add that to my listings now I could also do this for videos all right so you can if we go in here and we can see some of my listings have videos in here and some of them don't but if I didn't have any videos or I wanted to update the video I had, say I had like this video I have here, um, it's of me making a pair of earrings. So say I wanted to add that video to all of these listings, I could easily do that by clicking, yeah, I want to add a video and then I'd upload the video I want to add and it would add them to all the, the listings in this section. So this is really great if you uh, don't have detailed videos of each particular item but you want to have an example video of that particular style of item then you can bulk upload a video here to do just that now this can be super useful for things like adding packaging photos to all of your listings adding a photo of you making to all of your listings if there is something that people need to know that you want to add uh, an image of it like i'm a big fan of adding text images to your Etsy listings for people who don't read descriptions so that they get the most important information from the text. Um, also, if you're having a sale, for example, or running a special, you can put a photo at the front or at the back with that information. But now you can also just edit the photo you already have to add a sale banner, for example. So let's go see how that works when it comes to bulk editing the photos themselves. Okay, so I've gone into my minimalist necklaces uh, section and I have filtered by active. So the, only the ones that are actually active at the moment. Okay, so let's go into photo edit. I want to photo edit the first photo because I'm going to have a sale and I want to put a sale banner on the first photo so people can see that when they're seeing it in search or they come across my shop. And it's going to bring me up the first image as a guide. So these are all the things you can do. You can add filters if you want to change it. You can add stickers. So I've got this sale banner here that I created in Canva. So I'm just kind of going to pop it up there. Now, of course, I'm positioning it on this one image, but it's going to look different on different images. That's OK. All right. So we've added that sale banner there. OK, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to save that and it's going to save the images and it's going to go through and save that to all of the images. So we can have a look at the images by clicking on them here and that one, that one. So it's added that to all of my first images in the store. Now what the positioning of it is going to be slightly different depending on the orientation of my photo, but that's just something to consider when you're designing your sale banner. That's just one I threw together very quickly. You can add text. Okay, so let's do this. So you could change that. You could put that in there, add a shadow, which is nice. All right, um, et cetera, et cetera. So if you wanted to do that, you can, and you can just undo, 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 undo. You could put a frame around your image. So it's basically all of the standard sorts of editing that you could possibly want to do, flipping things, transforming things, et cetera. Okay, and so then you're just going to want to apply the changes. So you can add those edits, you can upload them, and then after the sale is over, you can go back and you can take them away again. You can revert the photos back to the way they were, rather than going through and manually changing every single image in every single item that you want to put on sale, you can just press a couple of buttons and boom, it is done for you. Now, I just want to briefly mention that some of you might be familiar with Vila, which I spoke about a couple of years ago now on my channel, which is another piece of software that allows you to do some of this bulk editing sort of thing. However, Vila also has other functionality and it is more expensive because of that. So if you all you want to do is bulk edit and edit your photos, then Eve Lister is going to be the better choice because that is all it does and it's more affordable. Whereas Vila is for people who have like multiple shops, like say you have Shopify, Etsy, etc., and you want to sync across all your shops. That's what Vila is really all about. So that is the main difference between the two platforms. Now, as I record this, Evlista has a free seven day trial, so you can give it a shot for free, which is always nice. I have a link below for you to click on that will take you straight to 
evlista and you can try it out for free if this sounds like something that is going to be super helpful for you in managing your etsy shop thank you so much for watching now if you enjoyed this software walkthrough you might like this one which i did on south samurai which is an etsy seo tool that i find super helpful and i think it's really really great so go check that one out next thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video bye for now